back to Bay Hill Studio. Today's pour, um, it was an experiment in um, adding color to the cells that form um, as the painting develops. So here I'm just using, all these are leftover paints and I just decided to dump them all into one painting. I wasn't concerned if they coordinate, coordinated well with each other, although they do, I think they look great. But literally I just grabbed all of the leftover bits of paint from other paintings on my shelf and threw them all into one painting. So here I'm layering them and I'm speeding this up just a little bit because I don't want this um, video to take too much time. It, this was not as much about the technique of this painting or even how it, the overall design looked. I was just trying to experiment with um, adding some shading and color to my cells and see what happened there. So I'm gonna stop talking and we'll watch the pour. And then when I add the color, um, after I pour this on the canvas, I will come back and explain what I'm doing. Okay, so I've spread around a pearl base and now I'm just adding some color to um, different corners of the canvas. So over the pearl base, this is my regular paint that I used in the pour. It doesn't have any additives any, to make it a pearl or anything like that. This is just leftover paint. So you see I've got hot pink, regular pink, a little bit of quinacridone, nicolazo orange, and some golden um it's the the lime it's something lime it's like lime green and i just wanted to see how these different colors showed up um in the cells and you can see i did not add very much at all so the brighter colors are definitely the hot pink and the lime and so i was guessing that those would show up more strongly especially since i didn't add a lot and so now i'll just carefully tip the canvas and as it tips the idea is that the paint rolls over those colors so um, my initial thought when I first started doing acrylic pouring was that the paint would push those colors any of the extra surrounding paint off the canvas but what I have learned is that it actually while it does push some of the paint off it rolls over it so it's still there underneath and so the idea was if it's on just laying on top of that pearl, it acts as an extra layer and some of that should come through in some form of shading. Um, and so let's just see what happens. I'm just going to tip this a little bit more. And already I love these brilliant colors that are coming through. 
Love, love, love them. So I wasn't trying for any special color combination here, honestly. Um, like I said, this was random colors grouped together. I didn't plan this out in any way, but I do love how it turned out. And most of these are golden paints and they tend to just really layer over each other really nicely, but not all of them are golden. I think the light pink for sure was not a golden. It was just a regular tube paint and you can see streaks of that throughout. It looks really pretty. Um, and I think that might be it. I didn't add any metallics here and I know metallics tend to produce a lot of gorgeous cells, but with this pearl pour, I didn't feel like I needed any metallics and I didn't have any left over to add and I really wasn't going to mix up any new paint. This was just all leftover paint. So, um, as you'll see, it turned out just fine without the metallics. It would have been pretty with some gold maybe or copper, but, but it turned out just fine. So now we'll just watch the, let's stretch this out just a little bit more. I love those, um, the, the pastels in that upper corner. I love that. I think it's gorgeous, but really it's all beautiful. So here you can see cells are starting to form, but I'm still stretching. I'm pulling it back just a little bit. I, I love the movement. This one looks a lot like a geode, but also kind of like a tree trunk. And as the cells develop, it's going to look like popcorn popping on the apricot tree, <laughs> like the children's song. It's just gorgeous. It will kind of look more like a tree trunk. So here is a time lapse and you can see in the lower right hand corner, that's where that line was. And that's really coming through. And then look over in the upper left hand corner and that's where that hot pink was. That's really coming through. And then in the lower left hand corner is that Nicolazzo like burnt orange color. And that's coming through too. The light pink in the upper right hand corner, not as much, but it is there. You can see a hint of it. And so this just tells me, you know, it depends on what I'm looking for. Do I want really subtle or really strong colors? So here's some close ups. There's that hot pink, really gorgeous. And it just kind of laces it. And then you can see that burnt orange coming through too. Lovely. And you, if you notice, remember, I just added a tiny drizzle. So it's just barely coming through. Um, really pretty. So you can add whatever shading you want and whatever colors you want to give different depth and different shading. And then over here, we've got the lime. You're going to see the lime coming through. Oh, look at the gorgeous, look at those layers of color. Just stunning. And then those deep, rich colors right there. Okay, we're moving up towards that light pink. So there it is, just a hint of the light pink. And then we move down and see the gorgeous lime green. I hope you enjoyed this pour and um, get the opportunity to play with your own designs. And um, thank you for joining me. I hope that you'll take just a moment to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And most of all, I wish you a very blessed day. Bye-bye.